Okay, this is a brief introduction of what we mean by using liquid air as a type of fuel. First of all, what is liquid air? Well, the same way that water can be chilled down into ice, the air that we all breathe can be chilled down into a cold liquid. Now, some of the energy that goes into creating that cold liquid can be recovered at a later time. And that's what creates the opportunity for liquid air to serve as a type of fuel. Now, in order to recover that energy, the cold liquid needs to turn back into a gas and that gas needs to flow through an expander. And so that's a little visual setup we have here for you. We're actually gonna pull the cold liquid into this container here, and the heat that's in this room will easily turn that cold liquid back into a gas. So we're gonna capture that gas and we're gonna run it through our expander. Now the expander is directly driving a motor and the motor is powering a light. So where the batteries would normally go, we've got some jumper wires here, so it's, the motor itself is directly powering the light. And we have an on-off valve here that's gonna control the flow through our expander. So as we let the flow go through, it's going to turn on the light as we turn the flow off. It's going to turn the light back off. And again, this is just a basic visual so that people can follow along um, the steps that are involved when we talk about a liquid air based fuel. After pouring the cold liquid into our container, we then screw on a cap to capture the gas. A hose connects the container to the expander through a control valve. Control valve is going to control the flow of the gas through the expander, which powers the motor. The motor provides the electricity to power the light. The cold liquid being poured out was created from the air that we all breathe. So there's no limit to the number of times this process can be repeated, and there's no limit to the quantity of liquid that can be created.